Okay, I'm on a different device. I don't know why you guys can't hear me. If I play it back, I can hear it. Now I'm gonna have to really condense this, but this is basically a deep dive into these balance trainers. I'm gonna start showcasing these people's catalogs. If you said, because there's nothing there. No, there's nothing there. Let, let me know if you can hear me now, because I'm not gonna do this again. All right, can you hear me, Sharon? Catalogs. If you say because there's nothing there, I can hear no. myself. So. All right, can you hear me, Sharon? All right, if you can't hear me, I hear myself. You said you can broadcast yourself live on a different device. Yes. All right, let me just explain this. These balance trainers are people who don't have any skills or qualifications. Anybody can be accepted into their little group. None of them bear a lot of omega males who are looking to latch their star to what they think is some sort of alpha male. And this Anthony Bly, if he said, what got you started? I went to YouTube to get that video of Taylor's, the abuse video. And underneath it, I see, let me get a different device. Underneath it, I see. by this Anthony Bly, who I tried to help and who doesn't have any idea what he's doing. And, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about here real quick. Let, let me show you what the comment was. I mean, it's honestly appalling. Extremely fearful black lab, how we help him. Th this is the one where he's lighting the dog up and it's biting up the leash. If you said we're hitting it with continuous, yeah. If you said this was this was Bly's comment. Anthony Bly, as a fellow professional dog trainer, yeah, you and him are in the same category, Bly. It's refreshing to see real content on here. That's what he considers real content. The dog biting up the leash. This guy wants to hurt dogs. He's looking for people that are justifying the use of it. To give people an idea what it really takes to work train dogs. Great content, brother. If you said this is the good old boy network, yeah. If you said they're both veterans, they're both on their second career, and this right here would speak to the fact that these people aren't experts. They're journeymen, yeah. You're not gonna be on your second career and be an expert. Great content, brother. Love you, hustle. Super, in caps, ha, 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 ha. If you said that's good old boy speak, this guy's a menace. He needs to go out of business as a fellow. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. If you said this guy doesn't have any idea what he's looking at, no. He does know what he's looking at. He enjoys seeing animals hurt. He, he was all on his page, Jeff Gelman. And he's getting ready to do it again. Yeah, getting ready to be biting up the leash. If you said this, Anthony Bly considers this good training and considers this guy his contemporary. Yeah. Love, brother. If you said trying to find a way to belong, trying to find acceptance from this tailor. Yeah. If you said he, this Bly is a beta male. Yes. Look at this dog. If he says it's getting ready to get hit. Watch this shit, watch it, watch it. If he said that was the recall, no. But this Anthony Bly thinks that that's good. So if he said, let's take a deep dive into this Anthony Bly's page, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's check out Knuckle. I, I did try to be nice to this guy, and I went on there, and I remembered that there was this only video that he had at that time was his own personal dog. If you said you gave it a heart. I did. I must have been trying to be nice. If you said it was opposite day, it would have had to have been. I'm going to just let you listen to this video, and this is what I say about stop talking. Because when you listen to this, you can tell this guy to know what he's doing.
Oh, you said you got it on the Bluetooth. Hang on. You can tell from listening to this that this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Hey, this is the small demonstration of a flirt pool. This is the uh, shorter version, and uh, it's meant for like the inside. So, okay, knuckles, leave it, leave it. Good, sit. Good. Okay. So here's a demonstration of. Yeah, you know, working on impulse control. Good boy. No. Sit. Good. All right. And you can see he has his little monkey down there, too. <laughs> All right. Good boy. <clears throat> so you give him the command to get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. And then you play a little tug with him on it. Okay. The uh, string is actually a bungee, so... You know, he gives. Yeah, good boy. Drop it. If he said, is it dropping it? Yeah. No, drop it. Good, come here. <clears throat> Sit. Good, good job. Leave it. Good, leave it. Good, good boy. Yeah, there you got it. So anyways, uh, great tool to use inside to work on impulse control. If you said, should anybody work on that bullshit? No. Impulse control. If you said, then what? Then let's take a look here. Look at this shit. This is when I really started realizing this guy likes hurting dogs. If you said that's a shut down, stressed out dog, absolutely. Inside with a cot and a line and an e collar. Yes. If you said, what does it say? Sometimes stress is induced to determine if a dog is truly aggressive, as well as to achieve compliance. If you said this sounds like police talk. Imagine if we never had to stress to push us past our own mental limitations. If you said this is more just of trying to justify abusing the dog, yeah. Here's Harvey who had a one bite history working on place. He didn't want it down in place, but I explained this was not an option. That's unbelievable. Sometimes we have to do what is asked of us, even if we don't want to, and then puts a smiley face. If you said, in other words, this guy got over there and manhandled this dog and used an e-collar to force this behavior onto the dog. This is his, he said he thinks the dog has ball drive. Yeah. If he said, does it? No. If he said, is there anything on here that proves this guy can train? No. Let me show you his video catalog. Here we go. Here's all the videos. If he said, one, two, three, four, five videos. The, re the most recent one was a year ago. Yeah. If he said, but let's look at his post. Let's look at his page. Oh, he got COVID. Hmm. Okay. Here's, okay. Th th this is this guy's page. This video demonstrates one of the many ways of training humanely with the use of an e-collar and is something most dog owners will never see. But what you hear is cancel culture, anti-e-collar Nazis. But this Bly character has figured out you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. 
this Bly character has dismissed away the pager and has fallen in with these low-level stimulus. If he said he was the Jeff Gelman's number one fan, now he's defending this. Cancel culture, anti-e-collar Nazis spewing their rhetoric and their ignorant views. If I was a client and I saw this, I would, this is, Bart and Michael did not intend this for people to show it to their clients. I don't even know why they made it. We take a stand against them and I ask you that you share and join us. There are many dog sports that involve biting under control, which is fun for the dog. And the year has challenged trainers to be better. So it's that video that this person took under cover of these dogs being jerked all over the place. Okay, so now he's teaching, now he's sharing Ivan. If you said now he's a big Ivan fan, mm hmm Yeah, so now he's all, and if he said, this guy's a big e-collar advocate, but another one that spotted you is a phony, yeah. Okay, now he's trying to share focused dog, non-focused dog. If he said, but he doesn't have any proof that he can even train, no. Oh, a, a small sampling of my toolbox of dog training reading material. There's so many books out there, but only a few with your time and money. If you said these are all bullshit books, no, oh, for sure. Bringing light to shadow, a dog trainer story. The wild canis, dog insight, visiting the dog park, having fun and staying safe. If you said that sounds like a book for pet owners. Oh, behave, dogs from Pavlov to whatever. Oh, Jean Donaldson. If you said she's dead now, that that book is that old? Yeah. So that's far, far behind. I just want to get back to where he's sharing Gelman. Oh, take the time to listen to this insightful one person liked it. I'm deactivating my Facebook account. I'm transporting to Parker. I'll be doing this because I did not agree with Facebook's practices of censoring free speech. Thank God, good riddance, Bly. Let's get down to where he was sharing Gelman, just to show you what kind of loser this guy's. Oh my God. This e-caller. But. The stimulation is insane. Oh my God, listen to this guy. This is what this guy put, this guy was somebody I took my personal time to help. And then I find out he's licking Jeff Gelman's ass. That's, that's what kind of a, if you said you mean blowing him. Yeah, blowing Gelman. This e-caller costs 30 something. It's pretty sturdy. Vibrate has a hundred levels, has tone, etc. cetera. I oh, forget about that. But the stimulation is insane. It doesn't hurt, but I tried it on level six. It was like 60 or 70 on my e-collar. I gave my client my e-collar to feel, and she was amazed. Stay away from cheap e collars Stay away from you, Bly. Let me get down to where he's sharing Jeff Gelman. This guy is a sheeple, Sharon. This guy's what's wrong with dog training, a beta male. His comment on Aaron Taylor's abuse video was, love it, brother. Somebody who's putting in the work. This guy's running a two-week bogus training program. Oh, I, I can't stand this guy. Let me get down to where he's sharing Gelman. If he said there's nothing of his own, no. He's so busy trying to... Effective dog training is about building a good relationship and having good communication, not just good manners and obedience in the place. I wouldn't leave any dog in this guy's care. He is look, he's supporting some of the worst abusers in this industry. One of the worst Oh, there's no bad dogs, just bad people. If you said that's a very naive viewpoint, yeah. Yeah, let's get back to where he shared Gelman. If you said he stopped sharing Gelman when Gelman got exposed for abuse, yeah.
And I honestly could not believe it. If you said that you took your personal time to help somebody and then saw their page was full of Jeff Gelman. Oh, anthropomorphism. The, more, the less you do this with your dog, the more successful you'll be. Post some proof that you can train a dog, Bly. Post some proof you can train. He went on Chris Frazee's thing saying, she said I did wonderful work. I never said one thing like that. I said that was a nice turn, but you need to get rid of the law. Oh, my God. <laughs> now he's sharing Larry Crone. He said he's read Larry's book. This guy. Oh, that's anybody, everybody. It, it, all this guy has to do. All this guy has to do is shut me down by proving that he can go out there and train a dog. If he said that'll never happen because he doesn't know how to train. Mm. Eh, oh, he's here and sees him alone. I gotta get rid of shares. He's not smart enough to get rid of the posts of Gilman. This guy is the epitome of the sheep, although he identifies himself as a balanced trainer. He has, there's no proof whatsoever. He promotes every abuser. I went out of my way to help this guy. That's what pisses me off. If you said, but he sees that you don't know what you're doing. Anybody that's spotting me is a phony. Now he's warning everybody away from Belgian Malinois. Oh, oh, now he's warning him away from off-leash canine. Hold your dog trainers accountable. If he said he uses prong collars, yeah. It's, it's nothing but... Here we go. Listen to this. I coordinated with Mia, whatever her name is, owner of Mia Sin Samuda Dog Training. What an evening with Jeff Gelman. Who? Jeff Gelman is a professional dog trainer out of Rhode Island. He specializes in rehabilitating dogs in intense aggression cases. Here is the information to pay the guest registration via PayPal or Venmo. Please let me know. Thank you, Tony. Hope to see many of you there. Thank you, Tony. If he said he's inviting people to a Jeff Gelman seminar. Yeah. If he said, but now that Jeff Gelman's been exposed as an abuser. No, he likes abusing dogs. Oh, okay. Let's look. Now we share this guy. Corrections are not a four-letter word. There are diehard trainers that we tell you corrections are bad or they aren't necessary or it make the problems worse. This guy is looking for somebody to validate being abusive to dogs. Everything is about corrections. Just when I get disappointed by someone, I get inspired by another, another. Yeah, I'll tell you, I've never been more disappointed in anybody in my life, Bly. I've got it. This guy had the nerve to say, I say, you need to get out there and film. I could already see this guy didn't know what he was doing. Get out there and practice and film. This was five years ago. If he said, what did he say? Oh, there's a problem. I'm embarrassed to be in front of a camera. A six foot something white ex-military army cop is embarrassed to be in front of a camera. If he said, what did he say? He said, Kelly, but you have an advantage over me. If he said, what did I say? I remember what I said to him. This is the last time I talked to him. And then after that, I went on his page and saw this Jeff Gelman shit. So if he said that was 2019, probably. He said, you have an advantage over me. Okay, I'm 20 years older then. I'm, I'm an Asian female. How, how do I have an advantage over you? I said I was just at Lowe's today filming by myself, so. Oh, okay. If you said after that he started filming, no. Oh, don't get all the jargon here, but my hope is your biggest takeaway is to motivate a dog. Let's find out who else he's sharing here. Oh, Bell. 
balanced life canine training. <laughs> okay, this was the recall. This was March Red Recall. One of the few videos I've ever made regarding dog training. Red was a one-year-old German Shepherd. He, I would only have to say his name and he would do a 180 on a dime. If you said, but he's seen your work and if you said he's holding the camera wrong. He got caught for all that abuse. This guy is, you know the type, Courtney, a beta male. I hope this stings, Bly. A beta male looking to latch his star on what they feel is some kind of alpha male. Larry Crown, Jeff Gelman. If you said he went to a Jeff Gelman seminar. So this is the one video that I said the turn was good. If you said his bragging was the dog would turn on a dime. On a long line. On a long line, Bly. If you said, Kelly, it's not like you can get him turning on a dime. Yeah, because I got him turning on a pin, Bly. Where's the dog even at? Is it dragging its long line somewhere? If you said it's going to come back and he's going to reach down and pat it. If you said that was turning on a dime. If you said, what did I say? I said, lose the line. Oh, I have to use it for safety. If you said, oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. I think, I think there was a comment there. I think I had a comment there. Anyway, that's, if you said then after that, you saw him going to a Gelman seminar. These are the balanced trainer sheeple. And I told this guy, this is his comment on Taylor's video, Courtney, on Taylor's, that, that video of the black lab pissing all over itself. L let me show you what his comment was. He's a, he's a good old boy. Anybody that would, that, I mean, that is literally the epitome of abuse. If he said, but this guy's looking for people that also enjoy hurting dogs. Yes. That's who they, look at that. What's his name? He has a stick. That one stick you said or whatever that had a name. Remember the stick had a name. I mean, this is literally the epitome of dog abuse. But yet this Bly thinks it's great. If he said the only possible way, if he said he's probably commented on that one of the gold. Look at Taylor's catalog. Every picture is him. Look at this. It's all him. There's no thumbnails of dogs. It's all him. All right, let me find that video. I was just on there. Hang on. This guy is the problem, though. These sheeple with the good old boy network that are going around, patting them on the back. You said you can't. Oh, I'm sorry. And saying, good job. Yeah. This video court, look at where he's jerking the dog all over the place. You remember that one. This is this Bly's comment. As a fellow professional dog trainer, it's refreshing to see real content. Real content. A dog biting the leash repeatedly from an e-collar? That's, but if you said to him, that's real. That's what you have to do. Yeah. Yes, they're on their second career. That's journeyman. That's a disservice to everybody who's committed their whole life. If you said, well, they committed their life to the army. Yes, and I appreciate all that. Good morning, Bill and Toto. But your second career, you're not going to, if you said what these people have done it, moved in and tried to bully people like you. Look at those guys that said to you, I bet they were ex-military, weren't they, Court? Uh, clients prefer male trainers. 
for some reason, I just, that anyone would come up with that. That's a lawsuit, girl. That's a lawsuit. Clients prefer no one in their life other than someone that's misogynist or something ever said, I prefer a male to train the dog. For the Women are known biologically to recognize the body language more innately. If you said because of maternal, yeah. They're more empathetic and more sensitive to things because of that reason. As a fellow professional dog trainer, it's refreshing to see real, in capitals, content out there on YouTube to give people an idea what it really takes to work trained dogs. If you said this is fucking dog's graduation. If you said what it takes is hitting a button over and over until the dog freaks out. If you said this guy's so desperate to belong, latch his star to any what he believes is an alpha male, I have utter disdain for these kind of beta males utter disdain to give people an idea of what it really takes to work great content brother those people on the uh, anti-abuse thing said he was worse than Gilman so if you said this guy likes him and Gilman yeah they said he's this guy's worse than Gilman that was their take on it if you said you just dislike this guy I do dislike this guy but he's, he's an abusive trainer great content love your hustle Super, in caps. Ha, 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 ha. What is the ha, ha, ha? It's that I cannot believe we're getting away with this. I cannot believe we're getting away with this. That's what the ha, if you said that ha, 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 if this was being spoken, as dialogue, that that would be completely out of sync with anything that's going on here, other than the fact that the dog is being injured psychologically by being repeatedly hit with the Z-collar. That's the ha 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 ha. It's, it's disturbing. If you say, what did I say? Great job. This is hard to watch, but great job. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's, oh, this is some woman. Great job. This was hard to watch, but great job. Where is this jerk at, Court? I'm going after this guy for you. I hope he's doing better these days. If you really actually think that dog is doing better, this is my replies to Bly. Fellow professional, you're a joke, Bly. This guy's the worst ever. I'm actually using to expose abuse, Bly. You're a fraud. Gelman, this abuser, please get out of this field, Bly. And I never said you did beautiful work. One video I said, good turn, but get rid of the long line. To which he said, those are my training wheels. You are a fool, Bly. He said, that's harsh. These people are grifters. Great work. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that. Great work. It's the worst e-collar video on YouTube. Even Kelman doesn't have dogs biting up the leash. He doesn't have dogs biting up the leash. Watch this. If you said your comment was all full of typos, I don't think they can see it anyway. Now watch what's going to happen. This is what this... I'm starting to understand the psychology behind these people. They want to be justified their reasoning for hurting dogs. That it has to be done. It's not an option. You got to do this. This is great work, brother. Ha, 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 ha. No, no one on the planet would think that this is good. This is literally what people think of when they think of a shock collar. He said it's going to eat up the leash. Watch. He's not even dying on his 
facing away. If someone looks happy, happy, it's literally crawling along. If he said, now he tries to bend down, he knows not to touch it because it's going to bite his ass. If you said, if anything, that should have been the end of it. I mean, I literally, when, because I was reviewing it, making sure I got all the effects on there. When he did it again, I literally hit the counter and said, oh no, my God, not again. But to this Bly, this is what it really takes. That's why you've got to film. There's integrity in filming. If you said, I would be afraid to see what this Bly is doing to dogs. This is literally the worst e-collar video I've ever seen. If he's trying to do like that one guy, like sort of go and then back away from it. Uh-huh. But it's doing the Velcro dog thing. It's saying if I just stay, no, no normal person. Even that girl said, oh, it was hard to watch. If he said she's just a layman, I would guess. If you said that's Spencer the Mensa. Look at this. It's criminal. It's really criminal. Look how this guy stands. He's got the hand in the pocket. Does he have the hand in the pocket, Court? Does he have the hand in the pocket? All right. If you said that's a normal acting lab. Normal acting lab. He's literally laying down. That's the epitome of shutdown. That's learned helplessness. There is no escape. If you said, please tell me this idiot's not gonna hit it with the collar. Watch. starts to crawl away. They, they do that crawling away thing. That's sort of a, no, yeah, you've seen it before. It's, it's just, it's tried a subtle way to escape. Look at that. It's literally crawling away. If you said this freak show is gonna hit it with an electric collar. Look at that, bite, bite. Bite. If you said, and then goes off to the side. Yeah. It's, that's criminal. It's criminal. What was appalling to me was that he did it again. If you said this guy is standing right there, seeing. If you said now it's back to the laying down, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. If you said he's gonna do it again, it's, it's unbelievable. If you said it's gonna come up the leash again, yes. That's its strategy. It stops when it bites the leash. The electricity stops when it bites the leash. So if you said you've basically turned it into a fear biter, yeah. It's gonna go back behind him and he's gonna do it again. I, I literally hit the counter when he did it. I was so surprised that someone would do it again. If you said, and it's gonna come up the leash, bite, bite, bite. 
Sophie said, what this dog is being taught is turn off the electricity by biting the leash. Yeah. If he said, what if the leash isn't there though? Yeah. What if the leash isn't there? Then we redirect our aggression to whatever is there. That's criminal. But this Bly thinks it's great. But he also thinks Jeff Gilman is great. And he also posts anything he can justifying corrections. If you said he's, this is the balance trainer, yes, this is who these people are. If you said it's easy to confuse a balance trainer and a motivational trainer, no. No. There's no comparison. Am I wrong? That's literally the epitome of what everybody, if I posted a video like this, I mean, who would do that? If he said he's going to do it again. Yeah, she's going to do it again. The dog's belief is, look at that. I might not have done it this time. It goes around behind him and he does it again, though. The dog's belief is that it is shutting off this electricity by biting. Yeah. That's grotesque grotesque practice. Yeah, look, he's going to go around. He's going to do it again. I'll bring Kristen on camera. She's like, no, not me. All right, everyone. If you said, will they come on? No. Oh, he had to take his Facebook down. It's called Knucklehead Canine Services, though. I went out of my way to help this guy. If he said, what do I, what, you know, how you sort of just remember certain old things that people said to you. I remember when I first met him, him saying this woman had thrown him out of her house because she didn't like the way he was training her pug or something. If you said, okay, hey, I'm looking at this guy. There was like one picture of him. Like, you know, it's one of these no neck and big. I'm thinking, yeah, when you're a big guy like this, you're, you're going to have to be real extra careful when you're dealing with small dogs. To be extra, extra careful. If you said this is before you knew that he was looking for ways to hurt dogs, uh, there is, I'm starting to say that there is a need in these people. There is a need. It's not going to produce a result. It's only going to produce a satisfaction in that moment to the people. Correcting them at that moment produces satisfaction to these people. Again, that dog was not gonna, not staying in its bed wasn't an option. So if you said the forcing and the pressure and all this is some sort of high for these people, I, I don't know what else to think. There's so many little bits that I've put together. Look at that one guy, Courtney. That what's his? The post videos of them laying there completely shut down, hogtied. I oh, yeah, this guy posts videos of them hogtied. On that one hogtied. You're not going to continue for this guy to go on and on about the e collar but yet dismisses you. Even after seeing your work, if he said he doesn't know what he's looking at so he can't tell your work's any different, you'd have to be blind. This dog red that would turn on a dime. It had a long line on Bly. You beta, I mean, it, if you say, what do you call men like, you pussy ass piece of shit. That's what I call men like that. And I'm sorry. If there's kids watching, get them off here. But that's what I call men like this pussy ass piece of shit. You little beta male ready to latch your star to Gelman, Taylor. Who knows who now? Now you're latching on to Ivan. Let me, let me show you Ivan's people. It's training. If you said prong collars, cots, two week training. Yeah, I looked it up. I don't want it to be like that either. And I really don't. But you, Bly, to me, are the epitome of a sheeple. Pat and Taylor on the back. Thanks, man. If he said, what does Taylor say to himself? Oh, that Kelly Blackwell doesn't know she's talking about. Bly here. My army buddy, Bly. Good old boy network. My military buddy, Bly. Says, good work, brother. Ha, 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 ha. 
I'm going to get the behavior panel to analyze that comment. I've watched the behavior panel enough to know when something appears like that, there was nothing ha, ha, ha. If you said everybody was saying ha, 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 that other girl was saying it was hard to watch. But this Anthony thinks it's funny. And showing people what it really takes. If you said, what is he trying to say? That it takes hurting them. You need to go out of business, Bly. Find other work. I went out of my way to help this guy. I talked to him on the phone. I tried to give him advice. If he said he wouldn't go along with the program of getting videos. No, he was too embarrassed to be on camera. And because I had such an advantage over him, that was the only reason I, you know, I had an advantage. So that was the only reason I could be better. If you said you have an advantage over a, a, a white uh, military ex-cop 20 years your junior, yeah. yeah, that's how the world works, Court. I just despise this guy to go on there. If you said I just disliked him until I went on there and saw him promoting the Gelman seminar. If you said if you go on the chat boards now, he'll be decrying Delman, Gelman, saying he's an abuser. What you should do, Bly, is do a video and talk about me and show my work, show my catalog. And you said, what does that look like? Yeah, let's take a little look here. My page is nothing but original content. Why don't you take your talk to work today? If you said that's your weather guy. Yes, he's my friend. If you say he doesn't know who you are. No. Oh, that's my Pakistani boyfriend. Let's talk about him. He's so cute. If he looks like he's got an attitude. He does. Look, if he said, look, there's my comment. I love you, Yasin. If he doesn't know who you are. No, <laughs> he doesn't have any idea. If he, I just find it so fascinating. If he said, this is the stables? Yes, that's the stables where they keep them. If he said, these outfits are very unusual. For the eight, for the day, not there. Courtney, if you want to pack a Pakistani boyfriend, I'm sure I can get you one of Yassine's brothers. If you said they ride horses, yes. If you said that's you giving it a heart, yes. If you said they put this, these horses in this traditional Yes. If you said you're planning on moving to Pakistan and marrying Yassine, yes. <laughs> if you said which one's him, this is him. If you said in the brown, if you said does this clothing have, does the color of the clothing have something to do with something? I better find out before I go there, hadn't I? If you said it doesn't matter, you'll be in a burqa. Don't even bother looking him up, Courtney. He's just another good old boy, desperate to belong. I despise this guy. I really do. To me, he represents every sheeple that, that supported Gelman until Gelman wasn't the flavor of the day with these people. Now he's supporting. I mean, I was honestly floored. Great work. Ha, 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 ha. These people have no proof anywhere that they know how to train dogs. Nothing you say. If you said this Bly is going to go out there today and he'll shut you up. Oh, good. Good. Oh, this was a dog I had. It would turn on a dime and come right to me. That video? I could see me saying I got dogs that turn on a dime. I, I, would, I wouldn't even post something like that with a long line. If you said, I see your videos from years ago, old, your old videos, there's a long line. No, there's not. They might not have been as fast as they are now, but there's no long line. I mean, obviously, after review, I got it faster and faster and faster just to be ridiculous because everybody said you're not good enough. You're not as good as Jeff Gilman, according to this Anthony Bly. There was a point in my life I would have never been able to stand up to good old boys like this. 
like Taylor and all that. If you said we're past that point, yeah. I hope this stings, Bly. You're a weak, pathetic man, in my opinion. And you go get Taylor to pat you on the back and you can all say, we're all professionals. We're all on our second career, but we're better than her. I don't even believe it myself. If you said, what happened? Anyway, what's going on with the trip down here? Courtney needs the, the girl's trip to New Smyrna. If you said, what's it all? Oh, I got it all planned out. First, we're going to put you up at a, a hotel over on the beach. If you said, what's our training schedule going to be like? Yeah, two, three hours in the morning. If you said, then what? Lunch and dinner at Norwoods? Yeah. <laughs> you said every day? Yeah. Anyway, it, that's what's wrong with dog training, though, is all these sheeple that are spending, if you said these people spend at least an hour a day on a chat board, and if you go on this Anthony Blyce thing, he's on that one girl that I tried to do a private lesson with, but she was such a know-it-all, said, was on, is in 42 groups. If you said on 42 chat boards? So if you said 42, that would take... A long time to check in on all these chat boards. If you said, and if everybody agrees dog training is in the shambles, it would have to have some, it would have to somewhat fall on these chat boards if these are the people responsible for disseminating the information to the other professionals. If the e-caller chat board is where we're disseminating information to the other e-caller professionals, we're failing. Nobody, if they were going to buy into this low level, the low level stimulus only came about because that was all the callers did. Oh, this makes my thing. Once there was a pager, and it's not even that, there's more and more people are figuring out that vibration has a way to change physiology in an energizing way. I, I think I still have this vibrating foot massager thing my sister gave me. You would plug it in and then it, you just like put your feet on there and it like, it like did heat and it like vibrated the bottom of your feet. I'm going to go get it out. But it's, electricity doesn't have any of those properties. It does have the property of diminishing muscle contracting, which is going to cause your body to say on some level I'm under attack. Any muscle, if I start getting a Charlie horse in my thigh, I can't even function. Remember I was getting them at night? Remember that one time I said at night I would just wake up and my leg would just be cramped in a Charlie horse? It was, it'd be so terrible. I mean, I would just be like, it seemed like it was going on forever too. If you said it was really probably only four or five minutes, I mean, it had to have been at least four or five minutes because it wouldn't stop. And they said they're hitting the muscle, doing all these things. If you said it was a form of attack, yes. Any muscle contraction, any involuntary muscle contraction isn't going to be... Yeah, I mean, it, you're not, they're not just the way these dogs are reacting. The dog is biting the leash. Its belief is now it can stop the attack by biting. If you said, well, that would be a reasonable, reasonable for solution for a dog to come up with. Yeah. That'd be a very reasonable solution for a dog to come up with. Stop pain by biting. If that dog was to chew through the leash, they would never get it back. Let's face it. But this Bly thinks this is great work. If you said this Bly has a long line, so that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to try to go out there. And it's just, it was already hot and it was starting to rain. And I just, this guy has just got in my craw that comment. In the end, the ha, 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 ha. All in caps. Ha, 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 ha. If you said, what does that mean? I'm going to look it up. But it's, it's. Completely inappropriate for that comment or that video, other than there's a masochistic, if you said a sadist, masochist is someone that likes to, I don't know the difference, but one of them likes to, enjoys hurting others. If you said they're not aware that they're like that, they're not aware that they're like that, but they know they like doing that. They know they like hurting them. Nobody would post a video of a dog shut down, being forced on a cot with that description that did not like doing it.
or all these videos about corrections and going to a Jeff Gelman seminar, if you said you would have to be, you would have to face the fact, and this is what people need to understand, and I don't blame Aaron because he got sent there. He didn't know, but anybody that was fooled by Larry, that was fooled by Duke Ferguson, that was fooled by Jeff Gelman, that was fooled by Sean O'Shea, you need to understand you're not a natural. You are not a natural. And that you're going to need to work twice as hard. If you said you were fooled by them. No, I wasn't. The very first video, I got in a fight with Mark one time about that Jeff Gelman video. Because he said just because he's using pager doesn't mean he isn't wrong. This was a long time ago. It was a huge fight. But I immediately spotted this guy's big phony. I just went to the RSK9. Oh, yeah. That was the one I did the video on the other day where it's, it's actually biting up the leash three or four times each time. So if you said now you're, if it's done this three or four times, you've now taught it to do that. That guy's the biggest phony out there, at least since all that happened. There ha he hasn't been starring in all the videos like he did. All this guy had to do was come to me and apologize the next day. I gave him that chance. I went live the next day after he was screaming at me, liar, liar, liar. When I said I got little puppies picking things, oh, I've seen little puppies, liar, liar, liar. I said I put a pager trained retrieve on a husky. He said I put a pager trained retrieve on every dog. I need to go edit all this stuff out. This is all lies, 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 lies. lies. So after I saw what a terrible trainer he was, I said, Aaron, if you want to come to me and apologize, I'll take this stuff down. He said he's too small of a man to do that. Yeah. And too small of a man to admit he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. To admit he doesn't have any training. Yeah. These people don't care about dogs. They enjoy doing it. If he said that's why he was a cop and he got, according to that girl, Jenny McPhee, he put her out of business. He sicked his mob on her. She lost her business, lost her house, everything. She had kids. If he said his plan was to do the same to you. Come on. The start of that Ridgeside video. Oh, hi, Johnny. Hi, Bob. Hi, all good old boy buddies. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's get her, boys. Come on, boys. Let's see her up, boys. We're on our second career. Let's get rid of anybody who's actually doing this for a living, boys. If you said, did it work? No. It didn't work. He said it all started with the Tommy Loveless video. Tommy's not even with that idiot anymore. No. If he says, Tommy doing good with his training? No, he's not. He's terrible. He needs my help. But he's too disrespectful. I mean, I, I can't even imagine being that disrespectful to somebody that had that kind of work. If he said, you're too used to people that come at you with a lot of respect, that you're not going to put up with any disrespect anymore. Yeah. Absolutely. Why would I? Why would I? I only have three friends. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go out there. I've got loads of footage to edit and stuff, and I just, it was so hot, and I already got uh, Spencer Downey's. These are all going to be complex cases. That's why these people are bringing, if you said every obedience training case is going to be a six-month-old lab that's been perfectly raised by the people, please, that's never going to happen. They're all going to have been raised incorrectly. If you said when you go to school, these teachers say the same thing. He said, I wouldn't have a problem with teachers not having any credentials or degrees or actual training in the field. Yeah. And you should be fine with the, somebody who doesn't know. You're letting people, if you're letting this Anthony Bly into your home, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't let this guy in mind. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's coming over there to hurt your dogs, what he's doing, with no, when these people start talking science and everything else. Not based on what I'm saying. And there isn't any excuse. If your excuse for not filming is you're embarrassed to be in front of the camera, then that's what you need to figure out when these dogs are nervous. That's how they are. <laughs> that's how they are. And I, I'm working on ways to work, you know, to do the best you can with that, but... I'm starting to understand if we can take the pager and somehow energize them and do these behaviors and make that behavior bigger, it will overflow. It will help. If you said you have, actually have butterflies on your eyes. Oh. Anyway. No, but every video he has is like that, Courtney. That's grotesque misuse of the e-collar. If somebody said, show me 
give me something that I can show to people to say that we need to get this device banned. There you go. This is what it is in the hands of people that don't know what they're doing. We've got a dog that's now biting up the leash when the collar is activated. It doesn't get any worse than that. If you said it, it actually does get worse than that. Because when knee collars first came out, people were trying to use them on these import dogs. I said they were getting eat ass up. Godfrey's fan. I, I wish I had asked Godfrey about that before he died. But Werner got eat up by a dog. If you said it was Werner, Werner was the importer. Werner was the guy they called the big guy. He owned a bunch of brothels in Germany. He imported dogs. He was Godfrey's best friend. And he imported all the dogs. If he said all the competition dogs that won all these titles were imported by Werner. Yeah. If he said, and Werner took an electric collar and used it the wrong way on the wrong dog and ended up in the hospital. Yes, he did. If he said, well, well Werner's wife, in an attempt to save him, also was eaten up and ended up in the hospital. So if he said, that's worst case scenario if you use an e-collar wrong. Yeah. Taylor's maybe one click below that, that you've got a dog biting the leash. If you said worse than that would be a dog that attacks the handler because you're activating an electronic collar. Yes. There, there, there's no protocol. Anyway. Activate, activate the electronic collar so that the dog becomes aggressive. There's no protocol anywhere for that. If you said, I've seen your videos of that aggressive pit bull and the dog became aggressive when you activated the collar. No, it didn't. It didn't become aggressive. If you said, why? Because the way I did it, I did it to indirectly so that it thought the other dogs were doing it. If you said it fought and fought and fought with this other dogs until the behavior exhausted itself. Yeah. Because you were applying continuous stimulation to the behavior as it was occurring. Yeah. And it just sort of like an exorcism. Yeah. I'll go find the video. If you said, then what? Then it reverted to the behavior of jumping on the owner. So it only had two behaviors, attack or frenetically jump at owner. But none of it was aggressive. It, none of it involved. If I had thought that what would have happened was that that dog would have gotten aggressive and turned around and eaten up the owner, I wouldn't have done it. If you said you knew that wasn't what was going to happen because for those kind of things, you put other dogs behind a fence, you let that dog go up there, nah, 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 nah. and then you apply the continuous stimulation. If you said why it's got a visual on these other dogs and while it's acting out this behavior. Yeah. And if you said in the behavior, we'll have no choice but become diminished. Yeah. That dog ended up never attacking another dog and lived the rest of its life till it was 13 and died. And she put on Facebook, Sadie, you were a wonderful dog. Blah, blah, blah. I said, it was a terrible dog. Thank God it was dead. Thank God it's dead. If you said, what did it do? They didn't tell me that before they brought it here, they had adopted a puppy from Nina for possibilities and that this pit bull had killed the puppy. They didn't tell me that. They brought it here for training. Satan's dog, of course, was fighting with their other dog. You know, these fights where they can't get them apart and everything else for 20 minutes. Taking them to the vet, so she's up all this. They didn't tell me it killed another dog. She said, you might know. I don't think I would have taken it. I would have said, this dog killed a puppy and you have it in your home with small children. They got very, there's people that have gotten lucky that these dogs didn't kill their kid and those people were one of them. That, that thing was fucking awful. It was terrible. It was a red brindle bitch. I got videos. I'm going to send it to you. If you said it would flat out get a hold of another dog and just dispatch it if it could and take great joy in doing it. Yeah. It's just like these people. It's just like these people that like hurting these dogs. They take great joy. If you said this guy smiles and laughs when he does corrections. Yep. If I had to guess. And I'm going to go out there and actually train. Oh, your vest. Okay, no. If he said, well, but what about, where do we wear the vest? Do we just wear it when, no, Courtney. We don't just wear it when we train. We wear it to Norwoods. We wear it to bed. I guess we get a phone all the time in here. I got the, what if Henny needs a treat in the night? If he said, Court, listen, sleeping. Where's my, oh, my lips are chapped. Here we go. My handy dandy vest. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in a sec.